Mr. Fabiano is without question, if you had to give one word to kind of his clinical situation, it's a miracle. My wife and I, when we were 24 years old, bought our first business. We had no clue what we were doing. It was a restaurant bar and we learned the ropes and by five, six years later, we had two restaurants and three convenience stores and three little kids. So it was a whirlwind. I thought it would be a good idea to join the volunteer fire department to get out there in the community. I really enjoyed the fire department. The last 10 years of my career, I was a fire chief. Cindy and I were kind of at the point where we were really enjoying our life. I was 60 years old, and I felt like I was 40. And we were ready to go out, and then we got hit with this diagnosis uh, of cancer. That was seven years ago, and it's just been uh, a you know, up and down type thing. When I first met him, he was an individual that has prostate cancer metastases in the abdomen, known as malignant peritoneal carcinomatosis. I, those are the big words that they use. So basically my abdomen was full of prostate cancer and the cancer tumors were causing a lot of fluid accumulation in his abdomen. And that required him having a drain placed within his abdomen. My wife, every other day, would drain a liter of fluid off of it. And I thought, you know, this is the end of my life because the quality of life here, I can't move, I can't do anything. His belly was becoming more distended, he was becoming more uncomfortable, and truly just his body was showing outward signs of truly beginning to shut down. This is so rare that nobody knew any type of treatment plan. Dr. Mancini called me and, and said we needed some lab work done, so we got the lab work done, and he called me back, he says, you know what, you, we can't do it, you know, because your labs aren't right. And you know, and I started crying, I mean, thought it was over. Honestly, he was likely weeks away from not being with us. And we took that chance and him and his wife were, were very supportive of trying this treatment. So anyways, he called back and he said, yeah, we're gonna do it. Our patients come to us, unfortunately, often at a pretty advanced stage in their cancer. And we gave him his treatment and we prayed for the best. And then 24 hours afterwards, we're looking at what that lutetium-177 is doing to them. All of the people who are here really share that same goal and that same passion to really do what is needed for our patients beyond just giving them treatment. It was kind of amazing because I had no side effects at all. The staff is incredible here, just amazing. But the best was Dr. Mancini. I could just call here and say, you know, this is happening or this is happening, and they were right on it. This place is just amazing. So this was the it's, way, it's way ahead of its time. A couple more days passed, and all of a sudden, uh, there's a little bit less swelling going on um, in his legs, a little bit less swelling going on in his abdomen. Then it was six weeks later, and they're like, hey, Mr. Fabiano's in room two. You want to get him going? Absolutely, I do. I, I stood back, and I stared at him. And I'm like, this is not the same man. This is not the same man. This transformation is unbelievable. And to be able to just be a part of seeing this happen with our patients is an amazing, amazing thing. And within a week after that, I was playing pickleball <laughs> and golfing. His PSA dropped by 99% with one treatment. And Literally, it was night and day looking at someone that was likely, again, within weeks from no longer being here on Earth to thriving on the back end as a result of one treatment is, again, nothing short of a miracle. Hey, look who's here. Hey, Dad. Keep <laughs> hey, Mary. I'll tell you what. When I was getting this bad, I was thinking I, w I would give anything if I could last like five more years because I want to see one of my grandkids get married and maybe in five years. <laughs> I mean, they're 19, 20, 18, maybe there'll be a wedding. I'd like to see that. It's the most dramatic change I've ever seen in a patient um, in my career, and especially in that short period of time, um, to go from that almost near death to thriving in life um, is just amazing. Well, you know, as grandparents, you get to spoil your, your grandkids. 
you don't spoil your kids, you get to spoil your grandkids. And, and we do that, we spend as much time with them as we can. And you like to read, huh? Yeah. The things that excite me the most about Theranostics is obviously watching these miracles happen. Well, I don't need to believe it because I can see it. Hopefully, Steve and Cindy can retire into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> and let all the other kids enjoy life, you know. Uh, so hopefully that's the way it'll go.